COVID cases are up 10% this week as the highly contagious Delta variant spreads. Though cases in Chattanooga have remained relatively low, researchers have confirmed the presence of that more contagious strain here. Our Joy Dukes is live from the lab in which that discovery was made. Joy. Hey, yeah, David. Researchers with Athena Esoterics, formerly known as the Baylor Esoteric and Molecular Lab, have been leading the charge locally in testing as well as identifying variants in our area since the pandemic started. Now, statewide, 27 Delta variants have been confirmed so far, uh, but none of those in Chattanooga until now. Researchers say that they used a process called sequencing in order to confirm multiple cases. The latest COVID-19 mutation that's sweeping the nation is here, according to Athena Esoterics founder, Dr. Elizabeth Forrester. We know that um, the South African variant is present in our area as well as Delta. Through sequencing technology, she and lab manager Dr. Dawn Richards confirm they have identified multiple cases of the Delta variant in Chattanooga. And we started noticing a change about three weeks ago. A change in the patterns seen on this graph which until recently almost exclusively showed the presence of the alpha variant. With alpha, we saw how quickly it became the dominant strain in our area, and the data suggests that um, delta is even 60% more transmissible. Forrester says how quickly the delta variant travels is concerning. Whether there being a lag of five days or seven days or even longer, they're seeing that cut down to a couple of days, even down to a day. Especially with just 41% of Hamilton County residents vaccinated. We don't want want there to be a situation where we have another mutation or set of mutations that causes our vaccines to be even less effective. She says it's something to keep an eye on and while normal activities resume, residents should keep following CDC guidelines on wearing masks and take advantage of the availability of a vaccine. And for now, Forrester tells Channel 3 that their focus is on getting the technology to combine that testing and sequencing process so that they can get the results for both simultaneously. So as soon as they find out whether one is positive or negative, they will also know the strain immediately. And they are hoping to have that by early summer, if not uh, later this fall, or later this summer, if not early fall. For now, reporting live in Chattanooga, Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.